Hey, it's Hugh from AmuseBot. Today we're going to talk about fruit. Fruit! Not bad. The question about fruit is not really about eating it, but the appearance. The appearance in your home. So there are fruit bowls, such as this. This could be used as a fruit bowl or serving bowl. This could be anything you want, but there's a bunch of fruit in it, so it's a fruit bowl by definition. One of the great things about design and art is that we appreciate having fresh things in our home. Fruit, flowers, food, wine, that kind of stuff. And we incorporate those things in our life. One of the big problems with fruit, up until recently, when we began to import things from all over the world, was that there was always a season. There are still a couple fruits and vegetables that have a season, but by and large, we can get things year round now. We're a little spoiled. So back when this occurred, people began to develop sort of a realistic concept, uh, realism art or trompe l'oeil, whatever you want to call it, about fruit and about life. So before they had photographs and everything, they painted. it. And it was an interpretation somewhat, but they tried to be as realistic as possible. In these fruits, we have fruit that really isn't fruit at all. It's actually made from Italian marble. So here's one. I put the little sticker on there to try to fool you. I used to find these a lot at estate sales and auctions and things like that. And always wondered when I found out they were still in production in Italy, I was completely thrilled because they're, they're super cool. This concept has been done for over a hundred years. So these are made in Italy out of marble. They're all made by hand. And this is actually a dying art now. There are less young people that want to go and, and begin to develop things that are artistically based, like these fruit. And the price has gone up for these fruit year after year after year, but they've pretty much last forever. They're natural dyes. They will fade a little bit in the sun. And so this is an excellent example of what you can do in your decor, in your everyday life. This stuff is durable. It's marble. Sounds like a cue ball, right? These are marble. It's painted. Sometimes it's baked on. Sometimes because marble is a porous material, sometimes you can just dye these things and play with it. I mean, these things are, you don't want to get hit in the head with one of these, right? They're pretty heavy. But these things are all made by hand. And if you look carefully at them, you'll realize they're fake. But from afar, they're pretty damn good. And what this enables you to do is add decor to your house that really doesn't need any sort of maintenance whatsoever. It's the predecessor of those awful plastic ferns that you see everywhere. They collect dust. I think actually that's the function of them. They just collect dust, which is a lot better than, than fruit flies. So make sure you don't chomp into one of these things. But you should know because it weighs about five or six times more than your average pair. So I'm not suggesting you use these for self-defense, but I am saying they're pretty heavy and they are marble. So if you want to defend yourself, just go across the room and toss a couple of these. I guarantee you, whoever it is that's bothering you is going to go away. Thanks for watching. If you're interested in seeing more of our marble fruit, please take a look at amusespot.com. If you've got any questions, add them below. Please follow us or give us a call. We are human. We do assist people. And make sure to eat your fruits and vegetables. and make sure they're not rock. Hi, Boo Boo. What's up? Is that good? Good good pear. You want some? Anyway, I don't know what I'm talking about. Italy, right?